Our heat's coming, storms are coming too. Um, thankfully, yeah. no storms today. We had yep. today to get out and enjoy ourselves. Uh, but yeah, you look to the west and uh, we've got more storms uh, that more severe storm potential through portions of Nebraska, down through Kansas and through Colorado. So they've got storms firing out there. A line of storms has been pushing its way to the east tomorrow. That threat works its way into Iowa. You can see it highlighted in yellow here. It is a level two risk on a scale that goes up to five. So strong to damaging winds possible, large hail possible. There is an isolated tornado threat with this as well. So something we'll have to keep an eye on. Tracking this out for you, you can see we've got the showers tonight that are working their way in. Anything we see tonight is going to be very light. We'll likely start to see more work its way in through the overnight ahead of a line that's going to be uh, working its way through. That line is going to be weakening and decaying as it pushes through, but behind that line is where the strongest of the storms will be. 6 p.m. We've got them firing up for areas like Creston, westward towards Shenandoah, and you can see that continues into a bit of a blob as it pushes its way to the northeast. There's a good chance that we'll see this continue on into the overnight and then Sunday not looking quite that bad. So could bring in quite a bit of rain though. We could be on the order of an inch or two depending how, uh, how who gets hit with these storms. Um, so plan for a, a pretty active Saturday and a much quieter Sunday. Looking out there now though, got some clouds and just Fair weather clouds, nothing too bad. West Des Moines looking nice too. Skies relatively clear there. And you look at the winds, haven't really ever gotten going. We have a weak area, high pressure that's been chilling overhead. And it's allowed us to at least keep those skies relatively clear. By tomorrow morning though, showers and thunderstorms start to work their way in. Again, we'll see that line work its way through and then have a little bit of a break through the early to mid afternoon hours before that uh, area, uh, that cluster of storms pushes its way northeast. And then after that, it gets a little out of hand with the heat. You can see we've got feels like temperatures in the triple digits Sunday. We've got that again on Monday and we'll carry that heat into the day on Tuesday to a trio of very, very hot days ahead. So make sure you stay hydrated. Take those shade breaks. Don't leave your kids or pets in the car. It's going to be one of those stretches. After that, more chances for hit or miss showers and thunderstorms through the end of the week.